I really wanted to put more ear piercing music in this one, but I've decided to spare you this time. When I proposed the idea of potential Toon Extra Deck monsters, some of you questioned my exclusion of Pendulum monsters as a part of the discussion. <laughs> Who put you on the planet? Much like Konami, I forgot that the Pendulum mechanic existed. However, I can't say in good faith that I would have included them in the original discussion anyways. Let me explain. Pendulums have never been a dedicated extra deck mechanic. They literally face the wrong way. <laughs> and look, I really enjoy Ignites, but Pendulums are just not a good mechanic anymore, and they haven't been. No, your Morphage deck that 2 0 starter deck Joey at table 500 is not evidence to suggest otherwise. But because I aim to try and make everyone happy, what if Toons had Pendulum monsters? Yeah, what if Triff broke into my house and stole all of my scales? I stuck to a strict criteria when giving examples of potential Toon variant extra deck monsters for Fusions, Synchros, Xyz, and Links. I went into the idea as more or less a business pitch to Konami with recognizable, iconic, and marketable monsters with, for the most part, generic effects that could easily blend with the Toon playstyle. The Toon Chaos 2 gag was only partially satirical. What's the problem with this criteria when incorporating pendulums into the pitch? Oh, just that pendulums don't fit any of it? You suck! Sure, we could tunify the entire Odd Eyes and or Performapel archetypes, but at that point we might as well just try to make standard Odd Eyes Performapel work with tunes. So, for the purpose of salvaging my remaining sanity, I'm excluding any archetypal pendulum monster, as well as any extra deck pendulum monster, as a potential candidate for a tune variant. There are currently 344 pendulum monsters that I have to comb through to find where the gold is hidden. Let me tell you, the goblins hit it well. And using these restrictions, that drops the card pool down to a more manageable 34 cards. And aside from useful effects that can integrate into the tune catalog, we also need to keep the scales in mind. Specifically, scales that support levels 4 through 8. Realistically, we could drop that to level 7 because no one's foaming at the mouth to pendulum summon Toon Ancient Gear Golem. This is pretty crucial in my process of elimination because if the scales are useless to a Toon deck, then we'll be back to dropping them from the discussion entirely. There's absolutely no reason to add a pendulum monster to the Toon lineup if it serves better as a regular effect monster. First up, Chaos Dragon Emperor of Armageddon. Not only fitting to pair with Toon Blackluster Soldier in fulfilling its summoning conditions, but CED2 basically checks all of the boxes. At a scale 1, it's not blocking out any potential use of your lower level Toon monsters for a Pendulum summon. Both its Pendulum and Monster effects are mostly useful and potent in a dedicated Toon strategy, and I'd very much encourage running multiples. With its Pendulum effect, in a scenario of having one Chaos Dragon in the Pendulum zone, and one Chaos Dragon in a main monster zone that was summoned by its own effect, the summoned copy has now provided a target for the Pendulum effect. Let's be honest, you probably sacked a Toon Red Eyes, and then of course Toons appreciate a nice board wipe. The cost is a little heavy, but as with every archetype scrounging for an engine harder than Boeing, with the right setup, you can use that wipe to your advantage. Unfortunately, going forward, our examples of potential Toon Pendulum monsters go from pretty damn good to pretty damn unnecessary. Guiding Ariadne. Yes, this is a card that technically falls into the loose police tape that corrals cards into the archetype of counter fairies. But counter fairies is more of a concept of collective effects than a fleshed out archetype. At a scale 3, we're still in a good position for the low end of the tune monster levels. The pendulum effect is wholly irrelevant to tunes. They don't have any in theme counter traps with a life point or discard cost. But Solemn Judgment is never a bad idea in a Toon build, even as a side deck option. The monster effect, though, is something that Toons have immediate access to. Toon Terror is the sole counter trap card in their repertoire. Guiding Ariadnes in the context of Toons basically reads as Search 1 Toon Terror. Yes, it's slow. Yes, it's not consistent or the easiest thing to set up, but it's something. And we'll find that this is a reoccurring theme with potential Toon Pendulum monsters. We're very much just looking for something or anything that resembles a usable tool that can be added to the Toon's arsenal. Ultimately, searching an Omni Negate can never be reviewed as an entirely bad effect. So our best examples up to this point have been low scale Pendulum monsters. 
that's literally only half of the puzzle. It's troubling to say, but high-scale pendulum monsters have examples few and far between that could be incorporated into tunes, and even that's being generous. Moesa Knight, the Comet General, is the least worthless example of a potential high-scale tune pendulum monster. With a scale of 11, we've got every level span of Toon Monsters covered now. Much like Guiding Ariadne, its pendulum effect is all but useless. Returning a card to the bottom of your deck has never been a game-winning strategy, aside from the infamous Yedokaru OTK. The monster effect is interesting, but I'm curious as to what use the original Moisa Knight was intended to be. Is there some forbidden jutsu that you can perform when granted that additional pendulum summon of a single monster? Who's to say? I don't believe that this card's effect is live if you find it in your opening hand, so perhaps it can be used in the late game, so turn three, to initiate some kind of incoherent playline to stage a comeback. But I won't even begin to dwell on what that might look like in a duel. Overall, this card's best quality is its pendulum scale, and that's kind of what we need. That's it. That's all, folks. We managed to find only three nuggets of semi-salvageable effects to incorporate into a tune strategy. But there's still a glaring issue. These might as well just be regular effect monsters. Pendulums by nature are not tech cards. You don't tech one or two copies of a couple of pendulum monsters into a deck and suddenly have access to their mechanic. Pendulums are a mechanic that have to take up about 75% or more of your deck to be functional. You need to have plentiful and equalized access to your differing scales to ensure that you can actually perform the Pendulum Summon. Having three Pendulum Monsters, two of which basically have matching scales, is an awful idea. But how do we fix that? One group of cards, and that's group, not archetype, that I looked at incorporating into tunes was the Vanilla Pendulums. They have a plethora of monsters, varying scales that support the levels of the tune main deck, and Pendulum effects. They're not fantastic, but they have them, I guess. One point brought up in my original pitch for Toon Extra Deck Monsters was the idea of dedicated Toon Tuner Monsters to accompany Toon Synchro Monsters. Let's bring that idea back to the forefront, make them normal Pendulum Tuner Monsters. Yes, the ability grouping is an absolute eyesore. My eyes! But we can kill two birds with one stone by bundling everything into a singular package. Just like you can bundle your home and auto insurance with <laughs> Since there are three options, we can better even out the distribution of high and low scales for the deck, using one for low scale and two for high scale as an overall equal spread. And with six total tuned pendulum monsters, we now have more legitimate access to the mechanic. Quite a few viewers from the original video put forth the idea that tuned extra deck monsters could be made more useful if they have some kind of lingering effect that treat in themselves as Toon World, which helps alleviate the ride or die for Toon Kingdom. I think Pendulum retrains of Toon Alligator, Dark Rabbit, and Parrot Dragon would be great candidates for this idea by incorporating that into their Pendulum effects. As a personal addition, I'd also give each of them the ability to pop themselves from the Pendulum Zone to search a Toon card. We've already got six Toon tables, might as well make it 15 for the absolute wackiest of consistency. But that now is the full pitch that I would like to present to Konami for potential Toon Extra Deck monsters. Frankly, it's been far too long, and it's something that is well overdue. That's going to wrap up today's discussion, guys. Let me know your thoughts, and if you could create one Pendulum monster as a Toon variant of the original, what is that going to look like? What effects might you add to help boost their ability to perform in a tune strategy. If you like the video, don't forget to drop a big thumbs up. It's always greatly appreciated. And until next time, this has been Purple Pineapple TV, signing off.